who's the one guy you would sleep with. Luffy Senpai! What? Did we just become best friends? Yup! Hello everyone, Skippy here, and welcome to One Piece episode 1005. Directed by Sho Inuzuka from Yutaka Nakashima's board and supervised by Shigefumi Shingaki. While not looking too intensive so far, 1005 looks like it'll harbor a solid board from Yutaka Nakashima again that should lay the groundwork well for our newest assistant director getting a chance at doing regular direction in form of Inuzuka, hopefully steering him in the right direction, especially given how rather low-key the episode is content-wise in comparison to others. With what looks like Masahiro Kitazaki's animation a few times throughout the preview that should service it all well, will episode 1005 be a solid effort from this newcomer? Time to get chilly and and find out. This episode covers the first 8 pages and pages 13 through 16 of chapter 993, which means it takes a big chunk out of the chapter in order to focus on other plot points which I can get down with, but the episode does feel a bit structurally weird. Having stuff like the cheery nature of the fire festival move towards the end of the episode instead of the start is a bit tonally strange given the Kaido intensity that comes after it, and I feel like it would have ended up better if it was like the manga and portrayed the tonal dichotomy between the two different locales right when the episode kicks off, instead of trying to make it look like the scabbards actually beat Kaido. Of which I'm not entirely against on its own because later on it does further their brighter characterization in the anime. Outside of that though, the episode falls under being a bit standard. By having simple little extensions to stuff like the fights with Briscola and the Ice Onis, which I found pretty good in of themselves, with the latter having a nicely done addition of Zoro noticing that one of the samurai who helped him into the live floor is the monster that he's fighting. It's definitely an episode that was cobbled together in a way that would allow it to be a bit of a lax one on the production side of things, so it makes sense that it's a lot more tamer content-wise. But it still had a good handful of ideas that I certainly enjoyed and missed some nitpicks that I had with its tone. Unlike last time, Nakashima's board didn't really wow me here, but it wasn't as if I all in all hated it. Because while there's a lot of really flat shots and a lack of scale, it's serviceable enough, I feel. And there's enough tiny little cool bits of stuff here and there that doesn't go too crazy but gets the job done when it comes to producing cool color-packed shots and even bringing the comedy home at some points with expressions and such. It's definitely not an episode that I would expect him to go insanely crazy with, and he does have episodes that he's boring later on. So it's not that I'm surprised, but I do have to, of course, give my genuine thoughts at the end of the day and yeah, it was a bit mad overall, while being a decent enough guideline for Inuzuka. That doesn't really allow him to flourish with what he may be capable of as a director, and instead just allows him a somewhat easy task, despite him storyboarding the final sequence himself, which makes it feel like a completely different and better episode. Combine that with the episode and Shingaki's corrections looking kinda eh to the point of needing Kitazaki as an assistant, aside from of course the fantastic ending cut of Kiku's arm getting chopped off by Kaido's blade, the house is some really awesome three-dimensional character art that might be the non-credited work of Masami Mori, 1005 is sacrificed, but after the previous episode and what's to come, it makes sense. While I personally would have liked Inazuka's debut episode to be one that better allowed him to portray his skills, I won't lie and say that just for the health of the production that an episode like this doesn't make sense. And even then, it wasn't incredibly dreadful all things considered and delivered a few things here and there that I truly did like, so it's not all male or sacrificial. Even if the most sacrificed parts were no doubt to feed next week's episode 1006, that looks pretty damn good. Since this episode already has a pretty damn good main staff to begin with, with Ryosuke Tanaka directing from his first storyboard ever on the series, assisted by series director Tatsuya Nagamine, the art, animation, and overall direction and storyboard look well polished and incredibly dynamic compared to what I was expecting, and seems to show that we'll be in for a bit of a surprise next week if it ends up mirroring the preview in the final product. Kazuya Hisada's usual angular and sharp corrections can be seen in spades here and there, so I'm just as excited as you all to see what the final product has in store. Anyways guys, that's it for now, I'm Skippy, and that new opening gives me so much freaking life, but maybe a video on Dreaming On, and one on this will be soon. Maybe.